Imagine losing more than one and a half million dollars to a stranger with little to no chance of ever catching the thief. That's the average amount cyber criminals are stealing. It's devastating to local entities, often to the point of financial ruin. Reporter Erica Francis from Nashville looks into the role the Tennessee Comptroller of the Treasury plays in keeping municipalities safe. We're the money cops. Placing money under a microscope. And the comptroller's office has a wide range of responsibilities. Including annual audits of state agencies, colleges, universities, and local governments in Tennessee, ensuring the accuracy and security of all financial information. You've always got to be very cautious. Because sometimes money isn't as secure as we'd like to think. Well, as long as there's been computers, there's been those bad apples out there that have wanted to gain unauthorized authorized access to computer systems. The state comptroller's primary role related to cybersecurity involves state and local government entities, two of the biggest targets for ransomware attacks. Tech Republic finding municipal governments were subject to 45% of ransomware attacks in the past 12 months. And these bad apples, they want to disrupt your operations, they want to get your data, and they want to steal your money. Data shows the average payment in the past year was $1.65 million, with many victims unable to recover. A lot of the ransomware we're seeing today is not only requiring a ransom to get access to your data, but it's also requiring a ransom to keep that cyber criminal from releasing your data to the public. Several Tennessee cities have fallen victim to phishing and ransomware attacks, with the Tennessee Comptroller's Office launching COT Cyber Aware. On that website, it contains a lot of educational resources for local governments related to cybersecurity. Jim Arnett says he realizes local government doesn't have the resources to pay for cybersecurity training, so the Comptroller offers it for free. As a part of our annual audits, we have a team of IS specialists that will go in and review the controls that are in place over a computer system. And as a part of those, uh, those reviews, we're looking to be sure that county employees are aware of cyber threats and that they have been working with their hardware software vendor or their IT personnel to identify the risk that are associated with those threats. Unfortunately, it's more about preparation than it is prevention. These uh, cyber attacks originate overseas um, in, in other countries. Uh, it's very difficult to track down cyber criminals. The best thing you can do is be prepared to respond when one occurs. So here are four things the Comptroller's Office recommends when it comes to cybersecurity. Local government staff should go through cybersecurity awareness training. You should make sure to keep your virus detection software up to date. Have a good system backup in place so you can restore data following an attack. And last, purchase cybersecurity insurance.